When you're managing a large infrastructure, there's, a, there's sort of different kinds of scale that you have to think about. Um, managing uh, a large number of homogeneous systems is one type of scale. Uh, managing a large number of heterogeneous systems is another kind of scale. Um, and then the third kind of scale is um, how many people you need to grok all of those configurations. Um, and so a tool can scale in one, two, or, or, or sort of three of these axes. Um, and what was more important to us at Facebook was the number of people needed to understand um, control and maintain a very uh, large number of divergent configurations. When your environment is big, doing things one-off doesn't scale. But if you can use code, then you get, say, 30 years of software engineering experience around building something that allows you to manage a large number of systems. At some point, you have to deal with reality. Um, and you can postpone automation uh, for a long time and make your life really, really difficult. But at some point, your life goes from difficult to impossible. Um, and so. I think some people tend to realize the value of automation really early on. Um, being able to make one change that affects three systems is still useful. But when you get to make one change that affects tens of thousands of systems, that's even more useful. For, for us, the reason Chef was so attractive was its incredible flexibility. Uh, so in Chef, you can use Ruby not only to dynamically express configuration, which is incredibly useful, but also to modify and extend the tool itself. So, for us, that kind of flexibility means that it bends to our workflow instead of us having to bend to its workflow.